Welcome back to the channel on YouTube. I recently did a new player tips video that hopefully helped you get started in Dredge. If you haven't seen it, you may want to watch it if you're looking for some tips and tricks that you may not be aware of. Anyways, after playing a bit, I realized that there are some very OP side quest rewards that I didn't get till very late game. But you could just as easily get earlier in game to give you that little boost starting out. And as always, before I get into the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these great dredge guides and tutorials. And before I get into everything, it should be noted that there will be some area spoilers shown in this. I won't spoil any of the story itself, but wanted to just give a warning just in case. Starting out, while these are awesome beginner tips, I would recommend maybe at the very least upgrading your ship to the first level since it'll make you a little more durable because you'll be heading into the Devil's Spine, which can be a bit daunting early game. The Devil's Spine itself is a more late game area and is known for its hyper aggressive fish that will do everything in its power to sink your ship. So be very aware before entering. Now before you set off, it's important to note that you have to at least play through the tutorial far enough to unlock the ability to dredge and play through the main quest far enough to unlock packed explosives, which is unlocked in the Gale Cliffs following the main quest line. Now that we've gotten that out the way, you're finally ready to head to the Devil's Spine, which is certainly easier said than done because danger lurks at every corner in these waters. The item we'll be unlocking is called the Flame of the Sky Light, which is the brightest light in the game. It's really a simple fetch quest because all you have to do is locate three stone tablets, which are all in the Devil's Spine area, return them to the trader in Little Marrow, and then come back to the ancient lighthouse and voila, the flame of the sky is all yours. The tricky part though, is just navigating the ruins and dodging the aggressive fishies. The first stone tablet is in the grid N14 to the top right of the square just below the island. Dredge here and claim your first stone slab which will actually give you the pursuit for this. You can ignore the pursuit and keep dredging so you have to make less trips though. The second stone tablet is located in the grid P13, sort of just left of dead center. Same as before, dredge her up and you're just one more away to finishing the quest. The third and final stone tablet is located in grid Q13, just south of center at the very tip of the island. Dredge her up and you'll be good to head down to Little Marrow. Now before that though, and even in between getting stone tablets, you may want to rest up with the traveling merchants located close to the Q13 grid because as I'm sure you know by now, traveling in the dark is not only scary, but also dangerous. Once you've made the long trek back to the trader and given him the three stone tablets, he'll in return give you the fused tablet, which is used to unlock the ancient lighthouse. You'll basically head exactly back to where you found the first stone tablet from earlier, but is on the back side of that island. Approach the dock and head up to the ancient lighthouse to unlock your new and bright as hell flame of the skylight. The next item you'll want to get is the Encrusted Talisman, also from the Devil's Spine, which does two things. One, it increases your chance to catch aberrations when fishing, which is extremely important given that aberrations sell for so much more than standard, and two, increases your fishing speed by over 300%. Now, if you struggle with the fishing minigame, then maybe you shouldn't use this, but for me, less time spent fishing means you'll be able to catch more fish in a single day, aka you get more money. Now before heading over to Devil's Spine, you'll want to catch two aberrations because they're required to complete the quest and you likely won't have unlocked the appropriate fishing rods yet to catch volcanic fish. And once you've gotten your two aberrations, head back to the Devil's Spine to grid 014 and hopefully without too much trouble you'll be able to turn in your two aberration fish and claim your encrusted talisman. Now of course there are many different other rewards and loadouts in general for your boat, but getting these two as early as possible is what I recommend. Hope the video was helpful though, and if you have any questions or any other suggestions of what you think the best side quest reward is, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out.